A girlfriend loves her boyfriend, but she is starting to get annoyed. Mm. My 28 female boyfriend, 29 year old male of two years will not stop speaking in a fake Italian American accent <laughs> and keeps making up foreign words. <laughs> oh, mama mia. <laughs> This is something I could see you doing. <laughs> Did your wife write this? <laughs> uh, I feel like she might have because I do do this. <laughs> My husband keeps talking in a terrible Australian accent that he claims is is British, but it is definitely not. <laughs> it's definitely Australian. Oh, no, um, the fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Throw away because he uses Reddit and also because this is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Too long didn't read. My boyfriend won't stop speaking in a stupid, tough guy, Italian-American accent. <laughs> I'm starting to make here. <laughs> Exactly right. <laughs> and it's starting to make up fake Italian-sounding words. I'm really annoyed <laughs> slash worried that this might be a red flag. Okay. To preface this. A red flag? Yeah. I don't know. I think it's just a silly, goofy mood. Yeah. I think if it was like... I don't know. I to be fair, I'm not Italian. I don't know how Italian people people feel about this stereotype. Um, yeah, I guess it could be racist if you think about it. But I don't know. It gets complicated. But you it know, does get are complicated. You, are you yeah. gonna watch The Office and not tell me that Gobble Ghoul episode is not funny? Come on, <laughs> come on. <sighs> okay. To preface this, I love my boyfriend, and he is super sweet, nice, smart, and a guy that makes me feel lucky to have, but his behavior lately is freaking me out and makes really me good worried. At plumbing. Yeah. <laughs> he has a brother named Luigi loves mushrooms <laughs> <laughs> and makes me worried about our future. My boyfriend loves movies, especially mob movies. He has all of the Sopranos DVDs at his place and I'm pretty sure he still watches them that way. This reminds me of the, the, the Barbie movie where it's just like, you haven't seen the Sopranos <laughs> or was it the Sopranos? It was something like that. And he just goes to mansplain what the movie is. Oh, the Godfather. Godfather. That's what it is. Yeah, Sorry. Which is also same idea. fake Italian. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Same idea. <laughs> uh, but last week he saw the Irish man with some friends. And since then, he will not stop talking in a fake stereotypical <laughs> mobster accent. Oh. We were in an Uber the night after going out to dinner and admittedly the driver was going a little fast, but my boyfriend kept muttering things like, who's this fucking guy, huh? <laughs> Dale Hart Earnhardt Jr. over here huh? <laughs> and shouting, oh, every time we hit a corner. <laughs> okay, he I'm would- laughing, but I would also be very like, Embarrassed. Awkward in this situation. I also have a friend who does this. I one of my best friends does this shit with the Dale Italian accent. Junior over here. <laughs> hey, this guy over here. I'm walking. Hey, <laughs> have you seen that TikTok? I think his name is Sebastian, and he's not Italian, but he makes Italian sandwiches. And he's oh okay. He tries to might speak Italian. It's it's funny, and I can't explain it in a way that would. Be funny, but be uh, funny over audio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Besto Basilica. All right. So anyways, uh, <laughs> he would not shut up and even gave the driver a one star review saying that it was about Ooh. respect. Okay, Everyone has a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Everyone. Yeah. He might be thinking he's an actual mobster. <laughs> yeah. He's actually confused now, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone has their quirks. I get it. And they can be what makes someone special. At first, it was even kind of cute and funny, but I just can't really understand this shift all of a sudden. It's been a week, and he continues to make asides in this voice, and when he, get dr- <laughs> when he gets drunk, he speaks in made-up Italian now. <laughs> like, we were having dessert at my sister's, and he came up to me and said, Hey, Ma, I gotta get home and hit the drapini. <laughs> I'm the designated driver. (laughs) Where's the translation? (laughs) (laughs) So I asked him why he wants to leave. And I asked what a drapini is. His response was, you know, like a shower. (laughs) Drapini is not a word in any language. 
He also has never called me Ma before, and now he does it almost all the time. I feel crazy. Like, is this going to be a permanent feature of his personality now? I know this sounds incredibly <laughs> stupid compared to some of the other very serious issues on here, but I am just really nervous about what this means about his personality slash mental health. He is really a sweet, loving guy with a wonderful family, and we have a lot in common, but just like, I don't even know how to begin to approach this. <laughs> I want to tell him off and be like, why do you keep doing that voice? Can you please stop? We don't live together. So thankfully it's not a constant thing, but like, what if we did? And what if it was constant? Is this the kind of thing you just deal with when it's somebody that you love? Edit. I just want to add, he's not Italian at all. So I'm also worried <laughs> about people getting offended when we're out and he's doing the accent. I'm yeah I don't know that's where I'm like I, I guess I can't say whether it's offensive or not because that's too it could be offensive to some people I have no idea I find it hilarious that part uh the one star review is fucking weird uh I don't but think I'd I do ever... get it if uh some uber drivers be speeding and I know they got to hit you know that's full fair I just don't think but I, some of I, them I drive a little crazy I, yeah I, I just don't rate uh I just don't give a star yeah, but then and making offside comments in the Uber when the guy's driving, kind of yeah. shitty. <laughs> I just That's be like, true. "Hey, could you slow down?" Uh, and then I would still give him a five star because I understand how tough it is to be an Uber driver too. That's uh, true. I feel like if you are willing to make the loud Italian voice in the Uber, then you should probably give a good rating. But if yes. you, yeah, yeah, yeah. If but if you're being serious and like, "Hey, man, this you gotta slow down. You're scared." Well, I'm worried about I'm gonna die. Bit. I'm worried about my health a little bit. And then he's like, I'm my driving gonna over be here. without a son. <laughs> uh I don't like but that part is just like you get into bits and it gets stuck in your head. This is I do yeah, this sometimes with all the fucking time. We do it with Tim yeah. Robinson. Because of a TikTok. We can't stop doing we Tim can, Robinson. We literally can't. It's been months. Uh but yeah, you get like the the corn kids song stuck in your head, and then that's all you're singing to yourself while you're with your significant other and they're like, shut the fuck yeah. up. And you're like, I can't, it's in my head. <laughs> um, or you have bits with your friends that just, you know, uh, you start saying it like a word and then that's now your friend group's word. Uh, we used to say yo, yo, Adam to each other. Every time we see, we saw each other. None of our names are Adam. It's a long story <laughs> of why we started calling each other. <laughs> it's just, well, how we answer the phones to this day to, with each other. Um, yeah, me and my group of friends would always greet each other with sod. <laughs> and it, what the fuck does that mean? You know what I'm yeah, saying? You, we all look like losers to everyone else, but it's just like yeah. a bit you do with your friends. Uh, so I understand it, uh, but I also get like the frustration. If you're truly upset with them, just talk to them about it. And be it like, sounds hey. like she did. It sounds like she oh, did. Okay. I don't know if he continued afterwards, but she was like, I have asked him to stop. Okay, well, then that's unfortunate. Yeah, that's um, the bad part. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. If it's really bothering you, uh, I don't. you're not obligated to stay, even if you're compatible in every other way and it really bothers you, but... Um, yeah. Yeah. Two years is a long relationship. Uh, he should be able to, you know, take you... He should be taking you seriously when you're asking him. Like, all right, relax. Just keep it around your friends, but, like, I'm, I'm getting a little... <laughs> It's not as funny to me anymore. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's hilarious to me personally. <laughs> I love it. If you ever see me in person, please would love a fake Italian accent <laughs> or your best here. British slash Australian accent. I need to learn. What about Texan accent? I got it unlocked. Did you not hear the Mama Lynn story? You do have it on. I meant for like someone else to you. <laughs> oh, to me. Oh, I could give it to him. Okay. Maybe not. Do you find I don't know. Do you find someone doing the Texan accent, Texas accent offensive? No, not at all. Okay. I'm the same way with like when people do a Canadian accent, which is like, it's wild when you think about it. Cause there's many different accents in Canada, but people only do the one. <laughs> yeah. I would but, get offended if a non-Filipino person did was a Filipino doing like verse? a, Fili uh, yeah, like a T Tagalog Filipino accent. See, that's where I'm like, that's when I'd be like, all right, well, relax. Yeah. <laughs> Take it yeah. a little easy there. Cool your <laughs> and jets. Italian Americans in America were discriminated against at one point. That's true. Uh, so I understand that. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's a very gray area. Yeah. But 
<laughs> I don't know where to stand on that. Uh, it's tricky. It's tricky. Guys, let us know if we should not be laughing at that. Uh, <laughs> Too we late, referenced the did. offense. Yeah, we laughed a lot, but we can't. We we, we can <laughs> stop. Do it. Just do it. Expert in fucking power. Great power. For the fifth time, it's your boy Sean. <laughs> <laughs>